Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to zip files uh, inside the terminal. Now there are two main methods, uh, one using zip and one using tar. Uh, we're going to learn the difference between the two and then we're going to do them in the terminal. Zip uh, both combines your files and then compresses them, whereas tar are completely uh, separates the two. Tarring all it does is it combines your uh, files and folders together and then you have to do an additional gzip uh, to compress them. Now you have two compression methods. You can do either gzip or you can do bzip2. They're just two different algorithms. They accomplish the same task. Depending on different case scenarios, one might be more efficient than the other. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but the best way to compare that is just to do both to the same process and then, you know, see what happens. Um, if you want to do those commands separately, here they are. I could do the tar and then either the gzip or the bzip, but not both. Sometimes you'll see both, but that doesn't really actually compress any more. So, um, so usually you just do one, but if you don't want to do them separately, um, here are the combined commands. Uh, so let's take a look at zip. Uh, let's see what we have. Currently we have two files and two folders, and we can do this in Windows Explorer as well as I go along here. So let's try this uh, uh, first command, zip. You do zip with the file name, your archive.zip, and then you list any files or folders after that. Uh, actually, just files. If you want to list folders, you'll need the R option. So, might as well just basically always use it. If you can remember only one command, just remember this one. So, we're going to copy this one, and we're going to paste it right here. And we can see we've created our archive. You can also do it in the terminal. But you look inside and there both of them are. Uh, say you forgot to uh, add in another file. Maybe you want to add in another and you forgot to. What's nice is that you can just do a zip, name of the archive, add in the file. And just like that, you can go into your archive. The third one has been added. So that's really nice and convenient. It, it both adds it and then compresses it. Does at the same time. Um, to unzip it, uh, we can let's do a remove. Let's do anything with a file and let's move the folders. So now we just have the archive. Let's unzip it. And right now it'll unzip all of that. Once I run this, oh bam, everything's been unzipped. So it's really easy. I use zip and unzip. I think it's easier. Uh, you can't do tar and bzip, but let's, I, I don't think it's easier, but let, let's see how to do that. First, just to combine all your folders, uh, we'll do a, doing this command and your options, uh, basically most people just use the CF, uh, VZ options, C for create, F for file, V for verbose, so it displays that as it's doing it, and the Z option right here, actually uses the gzip compression method. If you want to use the bzip2, you'll have to use the j option. And that's really the only difference between these two. So we'll both combine them and compress it. So to do that, run this command. Name your file whatever you want to. I name it archive.tar.gz. And we'll uh, paste it in here. There it is. Now we can see we have a new tar.gz file. And those are your fo folders in there. And again, let's remove everything in here. Anything that starts with uh, do the recursive option, anything file. All right. And let's untar and uncompress it. And there it is. That's everything. Uh, now you know how to do these things in the terminal. Uh, good luck, have fun. Uh, one more thing, guys. Uh, in the event that you would see a tar file um, that is both uh, has two compression methods on it, here we have a gzip and a bzip2 on it. Um, occasionally you'll see this, which is really stupid to use both, but 
event you see this, here's how you would uncompress that. First you would do b unzip2 um, and the file name. So that'll take out the very last part and we're left with now the, the tar.gz file. And then you would just do uh, g unzip to that. You see that'll take off the uh, gz part and then you can untar that. So you would do tar xfv and then your archive file and that'll untar that. All right, thanks.